hoping to relocate. The village is located about 50 miles southwest of La Crosse. Meteorologist Andrew Tutt has more on how it has learned to thrive in the shadow of disaster. Welcome to Gay's Mills. It's a village of about 600 residents in southwestern Wisconsin known for growing apples. We're considered the Wisconsin apple capital. But more recently, Gay's Mills has been recognized for extreme flooding. In August of 2007, the village received more than seven inches of rain in less than 24 hours, causing the Kickapoo River to crest about seven feet above the flood stage. The flood was so fast, it came overnight, and we didn't have any time for, to prepare. Steve Mickelson is the owner of the village's grocery store. We ended up with four or five inches of water in here, and then our power, off, our power was off for several days, so we lost a lot of our perishables. It was the first time the building had ever flooded, but in the following June, it happened again. During both the 2007 and 2008 flood, the water here on Main Street was above this car level and about up to the height of my chin. And since then, the village has decided to move on, and they're looking to move towards higher ground about a mile off towards the north. We are not just repairing and waiting for the next flood to happen. Everyone Fox 11 spoke with is in agreement with the move, but it won't be done easily. We love our community. We want to stay where we are. Um, but when you really look at the numbers and how you're going to get by in life, moving is really the best option. It's a move that wouldn't be possible without funding. The entire project, which will give the village a new look, is expected to cost around $16 million, most of which will come from the state and federal government. It's very, very difficult to recover from disaster. Um, emotionally, it's difficult. Financially, it's really, really tough. Ten townhomes are already being built, and 25 to 30 homes will be relocated out of the floodplain. The project is expected to be completed by spring of next year. It gives us this great opportunity for um, a new start, a new chapter, and come back better than we were even before. Business owners like Mickelson support the project. Our business cannot withstand another flood. He hopes to make the voluntary move, but he isn't sure if he will get enough funding. I am optimistic about it, and, and I hope it gets done because I've seen what the floods have done here in Gaze Mills. Um, I grew up here. It's a positive approach that is helping this community move forward one step at a time. Maybe Gaze Mills should be known as the little town that could that could get back to where mm -hmm. it was. And a lot of my customers ask me, uh, "Are you guys really wiped out? Is the whole town moving? Is you know, is it all over? No." It's just well, beginning. Yeah, it's just beginning. In Gaze Mills, meteorologist Andrew Tutt. Fox 11 News. Now, right now, the Kickapoo River at Gaze Mills is not flooding. The latest observation is more than five feet below the flood.